Hello cuties, I hope you're doing great. It's your girl here, Anit Brown. It's 7th of February 2024, Wednesday. And what is our word for today? Our word for today from UCB Ireland and except from UCB Ireland is moving from failure to success. Part two. We did part one yesterday. Okay, kindly refer back to my previous video. You're gonna see part one. Okay. So and our reading is taken from the book of Proverbs chapter 6, verse 2, and I read from my Bible. It says, Thou art snared with the words of thy mouth. Thou art taken with the words of thy mouth. Wow. So you're snared by the words of your mouth. They are strong, so we have to be careful. All right, let's continue. A noted psychiatrist remarked that two of the saddest words in human vocabulary are, if only. He believes people who get trapped by their failures spend their lives saying, if only I had tried better, if only I had been kinder to my kids, if only I had been more truthful, if only, if only. The way to change that mindset is to change your vocabulary by substituting the words next time. That is next time. Okay. Next time, I will try harder. Next time, I will be kinder to my kids. Next time, I will be more truthful. You get that? All right. The Bible said, you are snared by the words of your mouth, and a snare is a trap. Have you ever seen an animal caught in a trap, struggling to be free? Your words can do that. And they don't just affect you, they affect others. Maybe you think we're making too big a deal out of this. If you do, read on. A wholesome tongue is a tree of life, but perverseness in it breaks the spirit. Proverbs 15 verse 4. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat its fruit. Proverbs 18 21. Jesus said, Whoever says to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that those things he said will be done. He will have whatever he says. Mark 11 verse 23. What do these scriptures have in common? They confirm that our words breathe life or death into everything. So, instead of defeatist talk, speak victory over your situation. Instead of speaking failure, Start speaking success. When you do, God will honor the fruit of your lips. Hallelujah. Amen. Wow. We should guard our heart and also our tongue because the power of life and death is in the tongue. It's very heavy. Okay. We've learned here that we should change our vocabulary. So instead of saying, no, I should have, rather say, next time I will do this. Next time, I will be kinder to my kids next time instead of saying, oh, I should have. So we don't pray to be snared by our words. So we don't pray to be get trapped by our words because they are very powerful. And when we are trapped, it's going to be very hard for us to take back our words. Probably that word must have hurt a soul and it's going to be very hard for us to take it in. Okay, so we need to think before we speak. All right. Remember also that if you're trapped by the words of your mouth, it does not only affect you, it affects others around you, okay? So it's better for us to start right now to speak success with our mouth, affirm success, affirm positive words and kind words instead of negative words. Also remember that if you have faith, you can move mountain. So you understand where it comes together now. So with faith, it is complete. Oh, I started that word. I started that phrase when I was young. With faith, it is complete. So with faith, when you speak out of the heart, the mouth speak it. Okay? So there are powers in what we say. We really have to be careful what we say. Okay? So we are moving from failure to success. So when we speak right, we move from failure. So we don't say what's going to put us in problem. For us to move from failure to success, we need to guard our mouths. We need to guard our hearts. We need to guard our actions so we don't bring problems to ourselves. All right? We pray that we don't get snared or trapped 
by the words of our mouth because it does not only affect us, it affects others around us. All right. So that is it for today. I want to thank you so much for listening. And don't forget that this is an excerpt from UCB Ireland. And if you've not started reading the whole Bible for this year, I want you to kindly refer back to my previous videos from 1st of January till 6th of February. How time flies, isn't it? So down below the descriptions, you're going to see all the chapters we've read. It's not late, darling. Okay, so read it. And for today, 7th of February, we are reading Exodus chapter 29, 30, Matthew 21, from verse 23 to 46. And that is for today. Thank you again for listening. And don't forget to share this video. I'll see you in my next video. Know that I love you, but God loves you most. Bye.